everybody, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. My name's Tom, thanks for joining me today. Please do hit the subscribe button. Here we go with a fun Tuesday two minute tip. And in this tip, we're gonna take a look at some cool sort of hidden features about these Easy Play Today music books. Easy Play Today are published by Hal Leonard. Loads and loads and loads of books they do. And they're great for uh, older home organ and keyboard players who maybe find reading regular notation a little difficult because they have these big, massive letters look with uh, with the letters written in, which is really nice. But did you ever notice that sometimes above the chord symbols, there's a typed chord symbol outside the main one in the box? So the chords in the boxes are the chords you have to play to enjoy the song and make it work at the fundamental level. But let's take a look here, look. Here's a D chord, but above it, it says D7. So that typed chord is the alternative chord to the one in the box. Yes, they're both D chords, but D7 will add a bit more richness to the sound. Here on this line, look, we've got F, D, G minor, C, but the D, G minor, and C chords have got sevens after them. That makes them dominant sevens. Let's take a look up here on the second page. We're going F, B flat, F, and then there's a chord that's typed on its own look. So that means there, after two beats of the F chord, play the last two beats, F7. And that will make a big difference to the sound. It will help it lead better, in this case, on into the middle eight. So the next time you're playing an easy play book and you think, oh, maybe this is a bit too simple, try adding in the typed extra chords or alternative chords in the music, and that will make a huge difference to the way your basic song sounds. Thanks for watching everybody. Explore that with your Easy Play Today music books and we'll see you soon here on Keyboard Skills Pro for another two minute tip. Thanks a lot, bye bye.